Hey guys, welcome back to Pretty Hair is Fun. This week we're gonna be doing a get ready with me quarantine edition. Let's just get right into it. All right, so the only thing I've done this morning is brushed my hair, my teeth, and washed my face. So the first thing I'm gonna be starting on is my makeup. And I'm just gonna pin back my bangs so that they're not in my face. Now that that is out of the way, I can get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be using my moisturizer. This is the Trader Joe's Oil Free Moisturizer. It's my favorite. And I'm just gonna put a little bit all over my face just to combat some dryness that I've got. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just put some powder on my skin so I don't look oily from my moisturizer. And this is just Bare Minerals. This is just their mineral veil. So it's just the topper for their foundation. And I really like this because it's not heavy and it just makes my skin look nice and finished. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush to do that. I'm just going to put it all over my face. So the next thing I'm going to do is just put on a little bit of eyeshadow. That mineral oil powder is actually awesome as a setting powder and as an eye primer. So if you notice, I put a little bit of that on my eyes too. So the eyeshadow that I'm using, this is their the Pixie um, Beauty Blush Duo, this is their Peach Honey one. It's just basically a highlighter, it's really sparkly and shimmery, so I like using it on my eyes. And I'm just going to use this fluffy brush and put it all over my eyelids. Perfect. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is my brows. And I use the e.l.f. brow pencil. This is their color neutral brown. This is my favorite and it's like two bucks. It's the best. I'm just gonna brush my brows with color in. I'm gonna brush back through them and make sure all that is blended in. Just fix anything that looks wonky. And my brows are done. And then the last thing I'm gonna do for my makeup is just put on some mascara. This is Mary Kay's Ultimate Mascara. Again, this is my favorite. It's just, I don't know, it's always another really good job of making my lashes look really nice. I really like this mascara, and my little sisters, Aisla and Calais, like to make fun of me for how much I put on. But this mascara is actually so awesome. It doesn't take that much to like make my eyelashes look good. Nice. I have found that the best way to get my lashes to look as long as I possibly can is starting at the very bottom and then we're going up. And then once I like coated the entire lash, I'll go up to the very edges and I'll just put a little bit on with the tip just to make sure that I'm getting the very ends of my lashes. And I like to get in towards the inner part of my eye as much as I can, so that my eyes look bigger, inner and outer, just to make my eyes look as big and then pop as much as I possibly can. And then I always like to put a little bit on my bottom lashes, but not too much, just so they, again, look big. <laughs> okay, so now that my mascara is done, I'm just gonna do a few more things just as finishing touches. I'm just gonna put on some chapstick, this is it's my favorite. I honestly believe that if you don't finish putting on lip balm with a nice little smack, then you're doing it wrong. And then I'm just going to put on some lip gloss. This is Mary Kay's Nourishine Plus lip gloss, and this is their pink luster. This is really pretty. I'm just going to put a little bit on. Same thing. If you don't finish lip gloss with a smack, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> And then I'm just going to take that pixie eyeshadow again and I'm just going to go with my pinky and put a little bit on the inner part of my eye with this like honey colored one. Just right there. <laughs> and then last but not least, I'm going to take this Benefit for eyebrow setter and I'm going to put it on my eyebrows to make sure that they stay all day. Because you know, 
gotta keep your brows looking nice while you're fighting for the toilet paper. <laughs> And I was gonna put a little bit of that on just to set my brows. Right on the go. And we are done for makeup. Alrighty, so now that I've got all my makeup done, I'm gonna do my hair, and I'm actually just gonna take out this bobby pin, and I'm gonna do some flat iron curls. So I'm going to take the top section of my hair and just wrap it up into a little bun. I'm going to take just a little elastic, a little hair tie, just wrap it around. I think I actually am just going to leave it like this. And I'm going to grab some heat protectant and I'm going to spritz my hair. <laughs> so, I had to go grab some. This is the Unique One by Revlon. This is our favorite for our family, and I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of that all over my hair. Well, on the layer that I'm curling right now. And then it's gonna go over my fingers to look make sure I didn't slip it, because I kind of did. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take my flat iron and do some flat iron curls. And I like leaving the ends a little bit straight so that they're a little bit less ringletty and formal, I guess. So I'll curl it, and then when there's this little bit at the bottom, I'll just let go. And it's a little bit straight on the bottom. All right, it's holding this one right Same thing, I'm just gonna go around my head, and leave the bottom out, and have some sizzling from excess. Hair protection is right. The only form of entertainment I get during the quarantine. <laughs> Gotta make sure you're looking good for your family. They're the only ones seeing you. So now I'm just going to take the next chunk and I'm just going to part it up and ponytail it off. This is a really big ponytail for not very much hair. We might be doing this for a while. There we go. Bun. Spritz with our spray. Don't soak the hair this time. And we're going to curl. Same thing, leave a little bit out at the bottom. Just to get that nice little straight piece of the Something's cooking. And when I'm pulling these out, I like to pull them down so that I make sure that that curl stays close, closer to the head and then that straight piece doesn't go sticking out in some weird direction. Because, you know, that's never fun. Now that I finished this section, I'm just going to undo and repeat. It's a nice little reveal. And I'm going to take my unique one again and just spritz. And I'm going to part it on the left side just so that I don't keep tying it up in my house. Nice little entrance by my base. Nice little. All right, and we're just gonna go through and keep curling and get those bins up for you. Alrighty, now I'm just finishing up curling my hair and I'm just finding those last few straight pieces. Now that we've got those, I'm just going to take a big comb and I'm just going to comb through my curls. Just like a little bit looser. That is the end of my quarantine look. Um, thanks for hanging out with me while I get ready during this quarantine time and I love you guys. See you next week.
As always, make sure to subscribe right here and check out our other videos over here. Make sure to leave comments down below telling us first what you're doing to stay entertained during the quarantine and send us pictures. We love seeing them. Just tag us on our Instagram at Pretty Hair is Fun. And we'll see you next week. Bye guys.